Hi everybody, it's Diana with StampingWithDye.com and I'm here with this week's Dyes Shorts and I don't think it's going to take too long. Um, it's just a little um, thinking outside of the box kind of idea and um, so I want to um, welcome you if you're new to my channel or our group. Um, I do a dyes shorts every Friday and then um, I always upload it onto my YouTube group or my YouTube channel so if you're watching on the replay um, make sure you subscribe and make sure you pop over to Facebook and um, join my group over there so that you can um, watch those when they're live and then we can chat at the same time okay so um, Let's get started so that I can indeed keep this as a dye's shorts if I blab for five minutes at the beginning. All right, let me make sure that everybody can see that. I think that's good. Hands aren't too huge. That means I'm not too zoomed in. All right. Oh my gosh. Did you see my... Oh wait, you didn't see my legs, did you? When you said that, Daisy Duke shorts. Um, or who knows, did I say Daisy Duke? I don't know, whatever I said. But um, but I'm actually, I do have shorts on, but I don't think you could see my legs, sister. All right, so um, let me show you the stuff that we're going to be using today. Oh, first, first let's always get to the business stuff, right? We'll do that first. This is the hostess code. So if you are placing an order with me um, in March, make sure you use this hostess code. There is um, where you can reach me. And then um, I think we're like this, this close to picking the second person for the mini cut and emboss. So that's probably going to happen this weekend. Um, so um, just keep watching for that. Um, let's see, what else do I have here? There's only a couple days, three days left to sign up for the True Love class in the mail. So you want to make sure um, you sign up for that. You will be getting the um, True Love DSP. We'll be doing six cards. And then the rest of the DSP that we don't get used for the class will be cut six by six. And it's in your packet with your um, class supplies so um then you get a, a pdf and a private link um in order to to finish your cards so the 15th is when you need to let me know about that 55 includes the the dsp you also get a pack of the opal rounds which we are actually using today these are gorgeous and then, of course, the, the um, priority postage and all that kind of stuff. So if you have any questions, just holler at me um, in regards to that. Let me turn this light on over here. All right. So what we're going to be using today are crumb cake is the ink we're going to be using. Sister, you are too funny. All right. We're also using oval occasions, and it has... Um, a matching punch so it is a bundle so right now you can't get these but they're coming soon so I'm still going to use it because it's too cute all right I'm also going to be using wreath builder tasteful labels and layering circles all right, let me set this over here. What else do I have here? I also have the two inch punch. Let me turn it this way so I don't blind you. I'm using that. And I'm also using this one that I didn't write the name down, but it's one of the fun um, tag punches. So anyways, <clears throat> all right. So what I want you to think about is sometimes when you go to the store, you will see something and you think, oh my gosh, that is so cute, but it could be a cuter. So that's what's going to happen here. All right. So this is a cutest little package of, and they're lint chocolate. Now I love me some lint chocolates. So I got a couple packages of them and you can see I took this one apart. 
and I might have eaten two of them so that um, I got the strength to come up with this card. And let me just tell you, these are very delicious. But it's a cute little box. But I made it. I wanted to make it cuter. So that's what we're going to do. All right. I'm also using the Peony. Oh, my gosh. Peony Garden DSP. My mind. All right. So what we're going to do is I have my little box. What I did was I took a piece of um, copy paper and I made myself... A pattern and then I did it on cardstock and I cut out my circle but then this was too plain and I thought I'm gonna use some DSP so that's what I did with the peony DSP now I'm not gonna give you the measurements only because if you don't find this, the measurements are not gonna do you any good. So all you have to do is take your copy paper, any kind of box you're gonna cover, and just wrap it around, give it a crease, give it a crease, and just give all your creases. Then I went over to my Simply Scored and I creased them like better. But this makes our cover so what we're doing is this is going to go on our box like this okay so let's get it glued i'm using green tip glue and i'm going to glue this to this so i'm just getting all my creases really really good my bone folder this is such pretty pretty paper and it's, it's not got a lot of color going on. So personally, I think this could be for a guy or a girl. I mean, I know it's got flowers on it, but still. All right, so let me get my green tip glue. And we are going to glue this together. So I'm just gonna take my green tip. And all I'm simply doing is folding that over top of that. Okay, so that's there. Simple and easy. Then it's just going to slide inside. So this was just, this is where the, the oval came from. Hi, Candy. Hi, Phyllis. Um, so let's see here. So that's gonna go over there. Now, I wanna cover this up. So this was just a strip that was left over from the DSP when I cut the thing. So I actually got, out of one piece of 12 by 12, I was able to cover two boxes. And again, it's just gonna depend on, you know, what you find in the store, what box you're covering. All right, so this just kind of covers that. It's not perfect, but it covers that. All right, then I wanna take some ribbon, and this is the Forever Greenery ribbon. It is so pretty. It is just kind of lacy looking, and I thought it looked perfect with this DSP. I'm almost to the end of that roll. Let me get my ribbon scissors. All right, so we're just basically going to cut that because I want to have a nice long bow. All right, so now we're gonna make our bow. I just love the feel of this ribbon even. It's just so soft. All right, so I'm making a loop then I'm doing that extra loop so that it will hold on the box. So see how doing that extra one makes it hold. And then we're just going to, like we would tie our shoes, we're just gonna tie our bow. And I want these tails to be kind of long. Come on. It, it is. It's always fun to tie ribbon when you're on the camera. Because then 
The ribbon's like, oh, I'm so, I'm so shy. I can't tie properly. So, because it's not me, it's got to be the ribbon. All right, so that looks pretty good. Cut my tail, cut my tail. All right, so that looks fun. We can scoot it up just a tad like that. All right, and you're going, boy, this is pretty plain. Well, I'm not done yet. All right, then we have, so this is a little saying, a little treat for you. And that comes from, because wait till, I'm not even, I'm not even halfway done. All right. This is just the beginning. Wait till you see. It's getting cuter and cuter the more I go. Okay. So a little treat for you. So basically what I'm doing is I'm putting a, a dimensional on there. And I'm going to stick it up underneath here. And then it looks like, it looks like it's like a tag. Well, I mean, it is a tag, but I need to fix my things a little bit. But it looks like it's attached to the ribbon, but it's not really attached to the ribbon. All right. All right, so I need a fiddle fart for with that. All right, so we got this. But we need to make it cuter. So I do believe it's time for a new bunny butt. So we are going to make a little bunny bum. All right, so we have our two inch punch. Then we have our oval. So I want this oval and this oval. So I'm just kind of wasting some paper because I'm not using this cute little scallop. All right. So this is what we have here. So we have this here and that there. Then we have, so this is where the wreath, you love bunny bums? I love bunny bums. I do too. All right, so this is where the wreath builder came out. So these are actually little eggs from the wreath builder. So we want two of those. Then we need some little bunny toes. So that's where this punch comes in handy. So I just cut myself a strip. Hi, Sue. All right, so, and I'm sticking that in here. So what I'm going to do is punch, punch, and then I need to trim it. Cause I'm really just using it for that little, little circle. So I'm not really using the punch like it's supposed to, but hey, I love doing things with punches that are not necessarily what they were for. You're basically just getting a shape. And I'll turn this the way the other direction. We're just wanting that shape. That's why I love looking at the die. Um, let's see, how many is that? One, two, three, one, two, three. I like looking at the die section in the catalog and just look at the, the pictures. Like, don't go, oh, that makes a whatever. Just look at the shapes. Because you, it'd be amazing what you can make with just shapes. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to move all, the, all that garbage out of there. We're going to take our crumb cake and a little finger dauber. And we're just going to put a little bit of crumb cake around the edges of our circle. Like that. Hi, Anne. To me, I love the sound of, of, um, I love the sound this makes. I don't know why, but I love adding that just a little bit of color on the edges. All right. When you hear it, you just know that, oh, you're sponging or we're finger daubering. All right. Going around. So we've got, so this just will emphasize the colors because we've got crumb and crumb. So it's just gonna help. Um, yeah, Vicky, quack, 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 quack. Okay, so now what we're gonna do, we're gonna build our little bunny butt and we need some glue dots. So we've got a glue dot. 
glue dot. So we're going to put a little foot. Let's see if I put my glue dot. Oh, I did. I put my glue dot in the right spot. All right. So we've got our little foot there. Depend on what kind of angle you want to give your bunny. And another glue dot here. So it just depends on how, how you want to make him. All right. Then we have, so remember this was the little egg from the wreath builder. So I'm putting a couple glue dots on the end of that. And then this goes on here. And then do the same thing on the other one. And these are just basically the little bunny pads on their feet. So we have bunnies in the yard all the time. They're just wild little, little rabbits. But today when I looked out, there was, I felt like Snow White, I was telling Jeff, I go, there was, there was bunnies and baby bunnies. And there was, can you believe it? We have two quail. We don't get quail. We haven't got quail here for, for, for years. And there's a boy and a girl quail hanging out. And then when I looked today, the boy and the girl quail were there and the boy cardinal and the girl cardinal all at one time. So I got a picture because I'm like, this may never happen again. All right, so I'm gonna put a little bit of green tip glue here, here, and here. And then, so these will be our toes. So we have a toe, toe, and toe. And I'm like looking for that third toe. And you saw, you saw me do three toes. Oh wait. There it is on top of that other one. I had a I had a hiding toe. Let me scoot down. All right, so we're gonna do it again. So one, one toe, two toe, three toe. And Kristen's here. Hi, Kristen. Oh, I just banged my elbow on that punch. At least I didn't throw it on the floor. All right, so we have another toe. Get on there. I should use my picker up tool, but hey, I'm not. And then a toe here. And a toe there. All right. So look at that little bunny. So cute. But what does a bunny need, right? It's not a bunny. If you don't have a tail, that's the whole thing. So I have a few things. So I have a couple ideas. All right, so I have these in my stash. I really don't know why I have these, but this kind of looks like a bunny tail. So you could put this one on there. It's just real um, fly away, but it does, right? It looks like a cute little bunny tail. It's like really, really fun. Or there's cotton. So this is just, you know, cotton balls that you would use to take off your makeup or whatever. And then that looks cute too. So I think I'm going to go with the cotton ball instead of that other fuzzy thing. Only because the cotton ball is a little bigger. If that other little thing was a little bigger maybe. But I like the look of the cotton ball better. But these are fun. I wish I could remember what I got these for because they're, they're really, really cute. All right, so there's our little bunny. So we'll let his tail dry. So let's bring our box back over and we are going to put our bunny on the box. So right here is part of the box. Let me show you. So see? This right here, so I'm just gonna cover this up. I did have to trim a little bit of this because it was showing through here. But hey, no one's the wiser. And then I need my dimensionals. Where in the heck did I put my dimensionals? Could you believe it? I think the bunny ate my dimensionals. There we go. All right, 
So I'm gonna put the bunny here like that. So he's gonna be um, sticking out just a little bit. So cute little bunny. Now what I wanna make sure to do, I don't mind if this tail or this foot goes off, but I don't want this foot to go off because I wanna be able to set the box on the table so you can give it to somebody. So you just wanna kinda watch where you put this foot because you wanna be able to stand it up, right? Like if someone's coming home from work and you wanna set it out on the table as a little um, present or whatever. So just be aware of where that one goes. All right, then I'm gonna put these ovals on here because they're so cute. They, they look like water droplets. Let's see. So these were last month's incentives. So if you order 75 before tax and shipping, I always have like an incentive I sent out. So the opal rounds were February. So those went out yesterday, I think. So if you ordered from me um, last month for with the 75 before tax and shipping, um, those are in the mail to you. Now you want to keep in mind when you are checking out in the store, if you check the box that says, I'm trying to think what the box says, um, that you don't want me to contact you or there's a box. The order comes through. I get commission on the order and I so appreciate that. But the order comes through as like a no contact order. So all I have is an email address. So I can, you know, I always send an email and, and thank or thank for the order, but I don't have any other information. I don't have an address, so I cannot send you um, your incentive. So if you are one of those people and you're watching my video and you go, why didn't I get my Opal rounds? Well, if, if you check that, that's probably why. So if, so just make sure if you think you should have got an incentive, always holler at me, right? Okay, so there we go. Isn't that the cutest, cutest little things? Now, so talking about Incenta, this is the March one. So they're the flowers for every season gems. And these are really, really cool too. They look like water droplets. They're, um, let me show you. I put I have some in here. Hi, Jackie. I figured you'd like this. You, you like the critters. But look how fun these are. These are super Super fun too. And they would look neat on here as well. These you just have to add um, adhesive to the back. Glue dot, or not a glue dot. Um, I would use the, the green tip glue like I used to put the box and the, the toes on. Um, they don't have adhesive on them like the opal rounds do. But, so anyways. But there are, so two cute little boxes for my cute little guy. So one for Jeff, one for Eric. So... I'll put those out. As you can see, this was mine and I already ate two. And this is, they are yummy. It's like, it's like a little um, umbrella. Doesn't it look like an umbrella? So it kind of didn't make sense to me. Like, does a rabbit use an umbrella? I don't know. But, um, but who cares what it looks like? Because it was yummy and now it is adorable. So hopefully um, when you go to the store and you're shopping or um, I have shipped people shop for me because I still don't go anywhere. <laughs> but um, I just order on the computer and then they shop for me and if they have questions or whatever. So I just said, hey, is the Easter stuff out? You know? And they were like, yeah, we, there's Easter stuff out. So. They um, sent me a couple pictures and I'm like, oh, grab me a few of those because I didn't know what I was going to do with them, but because in the picture, I thought those, they, they were like a big carrot for some reason. And then I'm like, oh, they're like a little, little carrot. So, but anyways, it's a handle for when the bunny eats his carrots. Well, that's how I ate it. I just held it and I just shoot it away. Um, 
and it goes inside the chocolate. So you don't want to like, because then you'll break your tooth and then you'll be making one of those for your dentist when you go get your tooth fixed. But, um, but anyways, all right. So that is, that's that. So like I said, look at things differently. You can make, so this looks so much cuter. And you could, if you were making it for like a little kid, like my guys are big. I mean, Eric, can you believe he's, he's going to be 33. Oh my gosh. Um, so they don't need, um, the bunny little butt is, is cute enough. But if you were making those for kids, just pick some of the other funner paper. Um, the snail that paper would be cute. Um, because of, of the colors and everything. And you could really, um, make it make it fun for, for all ages. So, all right. So I will see you, um, Monday for my, um, mimeograph Monday. That will be 11 o'clock in the morning, Arizona time. And that will be on my YouTube channel. Okay. So hopefully, um, you'll, you'll join me then and, um, have a great weekend, everyone. I'll see you later. Bye.